You know those bad days, or good ones, when you pull out that brand new pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream and finish every last bite? Well, now you don't have to feel as bad. The ice cream company recently announced it will phase out genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, from its products by mid-2014. Currently, about 80% of Ben & Jerry's ice cream is already GMO-free. This is the right thing to do. We'll complete this conversion without having to raise the cost of a pint of ice cream or fundamentally impact the, the, the margins on the product. So what is GMO? Well, actually many foods Americans eat contain it. They're basically ingredients from a product that has been genetically modified to boost yields for farmers or efficiency for food producers. Many times GMOs are resistant to herbicides and or produce an insecticide. There is a growing debate on the safety of consuming GMOs. Critics say the chemicals could be harmful to the environment and lead to health problems. And many states around the country are working to pass legislation that would require food containing a GMO ingredient to be labeled. In a statement, Ben & Jerry says it agrees with the non-GMO movement to require labeling, saying we ought to all have freedom to choose whether or not we want to eat food that has been genetically engineered. We think this is a fundamental right. But the company isn't just going GMO free for that reason. It also says we're concerned that increasing GMO crops comes at the expense of smaller farms, which we believe is a more sustainable kind of farming. Currently, 40 countries around the world require mandatory labeling of GMO foods. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.